Hey, Joshua, it's good to good to finally see you. I know we've been wanting to talk to you for a while. Just what's this whole year been like for you? Um, how's it feel to be, you know, maybe one of the oldest people around there other than uh, Coach Saban? Well, it's been pretty good to be back. Um, the year so far has just pretty much been crazy. I mean, coronavirus, no spring, um, pushing fall count back a little bit. But uh, I think the process, the, the step we've taken, as far as far way back in, in the spring, you know, the Zoom means me with coach, uh, you know, coming up here in the summertime, getting a few workouts in, like we've had something in plan and coach say we followed Coach Satan's plan and it's it's been working and we are proceeding to proceeding to go with that plan and I mean it's just it's so many uncertainties. I mean we're just gonna push forward push through, follow Coach Saban, and we'll see where it goes. I mean, he's been doing, he's been doing what, what he's been doing for seven, 14, 14 years. So I'm going to follow the plan and continue to do that. We'll go with Charlie Potter next. Hey, Josh, just wanted to ask, what went into your decision to, to come back for this sixth season? Um, it wasn't much going into the decision. I mean, it was just a bad taste left in my mouth. From the past season, I mean, we went 11 and two, and I don't want to end my college career on a bad note like that. I don't think anyone who came to the University of Alabama would want to end their season like that. So, just being here, being a leader, seeing the other guys in the past, and not living up to that standard. I mean, like it, it, it didn't feel right leaving. Next question to Christopher Walsh. Yeah, kind of along those lines, can you tell us how you hurt your knee injury and just how frustrating that was to go through that whole process? Well, it was a non-contact injury back in August. Uh, went to go make a tackle. The knee kind of buckled inside and uh, slightly, well, pretty much tore my ACL 90%. Had, really didn't know my MCL was damaged. Also, my meniscus was damaged, and that was just about it. But um, after that, had surgery and able to get back working, moving around fine, the scrimmage went fine. Everything has been going good so far. Been trusting with uh, Matt Rhea, Dr. B Dr. Matt Rhea and uh, Baloo, and, and everything's been going fine with the new sports science facilities. I've been getting in there, doing extra work. So everything's been going good. I'm, I'm curious, after all the time you spent at Alabama going into last year, what made you confident you were ready to, to play and, and be an every-down guy and a starter for last year's team? What what made you think you were ready for that? Um, just being here, being here, being, being in the playbook, playing several of the positions in the defense, knowing the entire defense. I mean, once you do something for so long at a high intensity, you just you develop a, a certain sense of confidence. So I mean, I just try to take what I apply, take take what I know and apply it to the field. And so far, it's been working. And last one with James Ogletree. Hey, Josh. Was curious what you saw out of Christian Harris last year. I mean, it being his first year ever playing linebacker, that's a tough thing to be thrown into starting. And uh, just where is his knowledge of the playbook right now? I feel like Christian Harris uh, has a good hold of the playbook. Uh, last year, I was very impressed with him coming in. He's never played linebacker, and he did a phenomenal job. I mean, me coming in, knowing what I knew in my, my freshman year, I, I don't think I would be able to take on that load and be able to perform at that high standard. So my hat, my hat was off to him. I was with him day in and day out, you know, kind of encourage him. But I think he stepped up to the plate and he did a phenomenal job. We have time for two more, and we'll go Cecil and Chris. Josh, hey, this is Cecil Hurd of Tuscaloosa News. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, sir? I'm good. Um, good to talk to you. Did you and, and Dylan... Um, ever sit down and, and discuss your 
separate decisions, but but collectively, like, hey, what are you thinking? Hey, what am I thinking? And also, how has Dylan looked um, so far in, in the practices that you've had? Um, I think we've maybe sat down and had two conversations, but I think the approach we had with the team the 2019 season, we were kind of just on mm -hmm. the same head. We, we really didn't like what the season brought, what, what the season, what, what, what the season was about. So we decided to come back each, uh, I mean, I made my decision and he made his, but we decided to mm -hmm. come back together and, you know, build something strong and, you know, finish strong. And, and Yeah, and, and how has he looked so far in practice? And yeah. D Dylan's been looking fine. You know, he's been a leader of the defense, you know, play calling, making plays, you know, encouraging other guys. I think he had a, he had a pretty good scrimmage. So, you know, we're just going to continue to push forward, follow him, you know, lead, lead by example and do what we need to do to ensure we have a championship at the end of the season. Uh, thanks. Uh, just curious, what did you think of yesterday in the rally and all? Um, I was real impressed about the outcome. Um, I was more excited for our guys responding to what's been going on in the world, you know, to come together and actually have a march that soon. Um, I was real impressed. I overall, I liked everything that was said in, in there, but I think this is just one step in, in the direction of where we need to go in the country. All right, Josh, thank you very much.